Okay, so I am going to start with yellow. I'm using Arteza Outdoor Acrylic Colors yellow. It's a great yellow. Um, you can use enamel or acrylic even. I just like the way the enamel goes on or I like these outdoor acrylic paints too. They go out, they go on very nice and they're very thick. So basically you can use whatever you have um, but if you're going to go buy something, I'd buy the enamels or this Arteza outdoor paint. They also have um, Deco Art um, outdoor paint, enamel, and um, multi-purpose, which is all fine. I just have these, so and I, I've used them before in the bowls, and I like them. And they're for outdoor, so I'm assuming that they will not chip or, you know, um, peel. Okay, so I'm just going to very simply just paint the inside yellow. And basically, you can go any way you want while you're painting your bowl. You can do a mandala design, a flower design. I'm going to do a flower design. So I'm just painting the yellow first. And then I think I'm going to do white for some petals. And I'm not too fussy about the edge because I'm gonna go over the edge with either some gold or sparkle. Um, I'm not sure yet. I might just do some paint design. And you don't need too much paint. You can you don't want to put it on too thick. You want to do more of a thin coat. You can always add another coat. And I don't get too fussy with this layer. You could also use a paint pen and paint and draw right into the gesso. So there's many options for you to choose, whatever you like to do. You know, some, some of you may just want to decorate and do some marks like dots or lines. Others may want to paint, you know, a, more of a lifelike flower. So practice and see what you like doing. I like doing it all. Some days I like doing mandala style. Some days I like, I've done abstract in the bowls. So my favorite is doing the mandala designs with the marks and then flowers. <clears throat> but I like the abstracts too. Um, some people even collage. You could take some collage paper and just fill the bowl with Mod Podge and papers. I've done that too. I'll show you one. After I paint this, I'll show you the one I did. And the reason I did that my first time was because I cracked the bowl. I made it so thin that when I took it off its mold, I cracked it. So I glued it together with some epoxy. Uh, no, no, not epoxy. Uh, E2, E6000, E6000 glue. I glued the part that cracked and then to cover that, I just used some painted papers. And okay, now I'm gonna let that sit and dry. And I'm gonna show you the bowl that I collaged. Here it is. So, um, I made this very thin. You can't really tell, but there's a few areas here that are almost see-through thin. But this was one of the first bowls. I, I think this was my first bowl I made with epoxy clay, epoxy sculpt. So I made it too thin, although it's totally, it is totally firm. It's not cracking now, but when I pulled it off the mold, I cracked it. I don't even know where now. But anyway, I took all papers and I just collaged them on. So I can't even see where my crack is. Oh, here it is right here. I could have sanded it, but I didn't because I knew I was just keeping it for myself. Plus, I like it. I like it with the little crack. But this was the first one I made. <clears throat> and 
This can go outside. I think I'll bring it outside when it gets nice and put some bird feed in. Um, a lot of people ask me if I poke holes in the bottom to let the water drain. Um, I have done that because some people that ordered some of these requested that I uh, put holes in the bottom. But I don't. I'll just go and empty the bowl and clean it. I don't know. I don't want holes in the bottom for some reason. <laughs> but if you want to put holes in, you can. And that's it. So that's another way to do it. Collage. I didn't do that fancy a job, but I used old coloring book paper and some um, paper that I printed myself that I did with my iPad, this little leopard print. I did that, so I printed it and collaged it on. But anyway, I'm going to let this yellow dry, and I will be back. Okay, so now I'm going to use white enamel by Folk Art. And I just pour some into my lid. I'm using a little bit of a thinner brush. I'll put a little bit of water here and a little in here just to make it a little more liquidy. And I am just going to, now you could use a paint pen for this too but I like the way you get the weird kind of um, not uniform marks. In other words, the brush, you know, each one you do is gonna look different. If I use the paint pen, it'll be the same. And I'm not being fussy as usual. This paint goes on fabulously as well. For an inexpensive paint, these enamels are great. So I just keep going around and then I'm going to do another. I want them to go down a little bit more into the center. So I'll go back over it. And I just let it dry how it is. You know, there's a little bit of a thicker paint here. I don't, I don't fix that. It looks nice when it's done, so I just leave it. I mean, I'm going over some because I want to extend it a little bit longer. Down into the bowl <clears throat> and up to the edge. And I'm just going to go again and do another one in between, a little bit shorter. Like how that's looking so now I'm gonna let that dry and I'm just gonna fix this right here because I don't like that one. okay and I'm gonna ponder what color I'm gonna do over this I'm not sure yet I think pink <laughs> or maybe orange yeah orange okay I'll be back to use some of the orange. Um, it doesn't pour out so well, so I'm just going to put a little bit of water in here. And just add some in. I don't need that much. <clears throat> I could just put it on here too, but I, I use the caps a lot. Because it doesn't absorb the paint. If I put it on here, it'll absorb it. Okay. So now I'm just going to do the same as I did with the white. Maybe a little thinner. I'm using the same brush, but I'm just not pressing down as hard. Okay. 
And this is just a simple flower bowl. I mean, you could paint the petals on more like real petals if you like. I've done that too. Sometimes I just like doing a lot of layers of simple. I like how it looks and it's just what you're in the mood for on whatever day you're creating. And I'm gonna do a couple of short ones around the bottom. And you can use, you know, any colors you like and do as many layers as you like. You could start with the yellow base, then the white, then the orange. Then you could put a darker orange and a red. You could just keep going as long as you like. And if you don't like it when you're done, just paint over it. You'll have a few of the ridges of the paint that's already here underneath, but so what? That'll make it look good. Nothing is ever too far ruined that you can't fix it or use it in another way. And luckily for me, I found that out early on. Nothing is ever too ruined or messed up that you can't use it. Paint that you can't use it for something else, paint over it or repurpose it. and how that looks. In the center, I am going to do, I don't know yet. Um, maybe black or black dots. Let's see how I like black dots. I'm using the Posca pen here. do a lot of dots. I'm not just doing like a dotted <clears throat> look. I'm going to do it so it's thick but using dots so you'll see some of the yellow behind it. And I'm not going to go up in the orange yet because it's still wet. I see a part here that's a little too thick. Okay. I'm just doing the center now because I have to wait for the orange to dry. I'm going to go up into the orange a little bit. It seems like it's dry already. You don't want to use your Posca pen on wet paint because it'll ruin it. <clears throat> Sorry. I have a little bit of a horse throat today. Um, you don't want the wet paint to go on the Posca because it'll ruin the tip on any paint pen. You don't want to use it on wet paint, especially acrylic. I mean, if you used it on wet watercolor, it wouldn't be so bad, but wet acrylic dries like a acrylic plastic, so it would ruin your tip. And I just keep going and do some various ones up a little higher.
not as concentrated as in the center. Just a few up into the orange. And that's pretty much it. I kind of like it, just like it is. I may add some brown into here. And I'm going to go back and forth doing some brown and then some black and doing a few brown up into the orange. Just keep observing how it looks. Look at it from a little bit of a distance. And if you want to add more, you add more. If you like it how it is, you stop. I know that the more I add, it's going to give it a little more depth. So I'm going to add more. And you kind of want to blend it into the orange. Not too many up in the up in, up in here, but you want to kind of cover the white because that'll take away. And now my black again. over some of the brown. And that looks lovely. Oh, and I didn't address about the blue. Um, so I baked this with that porcelain on it. And uh, it's nice. But I think I want to do another coat either of that or of some enamel paint that I'll put on with my finger. So if I put it on with my finger, actually I'll do it right now. I think I'll do a coat of green over this because the this porcelain is nice, but it's not it's not anything that's really standing out to me. I like it when I use it on the paper clay because it makes the paper clay even more um, like a ceramic. But this this epoxy is already like that, so you don't really it's like a waste using it on here. Anyway, let me get some green. I got green multi surface. And I am just going to put a little bit here. And I'm just going to use my finger. That's a little too thin. That's all right, though. I'm going to... I'll do a couple coats. And I like that the blue just comes through. When you use your finger, it's kind of nice. You just let the color underneath come through. I'm not thrilled with this green on it, though. It's not like enough contrast for me. But it's okay. But I'll go over it again. Yeah, it's nice when you have one color underneath and then you do another color and let that shine through. 
If you like a, um, a very grungy look, you could even sand it a little. I don't really do that, but you can, you know, sand the whole outside to get it like rough. And that will look nice under the, when we seal it. Okay, so that's basically dry and now this has to dry and I'll be back.